Unfinished letter from Magar Vin. Most Honorable Baron Co. I'm Baron Magar Varn of Varnhold, and I am writing to inquire about the current state of affairs in your realm. I hope there's no trouble with pestilence. I would also like to request your aid in a small matter. A few days back, an adventurer by the name of Willis Gunderson retrieved a mysterious bracelet from one of the ancient ruins scattered across Dunsward. Gunderson kindly turned it over to my court wizard, Seffel, who continues to examine it and as it lies on the table before me. It may be the most peculiar thing I've ever laid eyes on. The bracelet is covered in angular patterns that resemble a labyrinth, and it's adorned with an inscription in an unknown language. No learned man in Varnhold has been able to read this writing or deduce which culture the artifact belongs to. Okay, so he wants to he wants us to send someone out. Oh, I am sure that your capital is plenty of such learned men and women. Perhaps one of them will succeed in reading the inscription. Of course, I will return the Vordecai, 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 Vorda. Oh, um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, good talk. Good talk. Uh, let's, let's see what we can do with that. Mm. A letter with threats. Uh, I'm writing to you as your ally and well-wisher. The reason for my letter is a lack of foresight in your actions. You're trying so hard to become friends with this baron from the coalition. You invited him to pay you a visit, you assume a sincerity, and you even send rich gifts. Have you nothing more to do in your lands? I strongly recommend you to stop flirting with this upstart person and turn your gaze to the affairs of the day? Someone is trying to stab old Ko in the back. Hmm. Hmm. A boot! Ooh, and an omelet. Quarterstaff is... Crimson Counselor. What do you do, friendo? Whoa. The staff contains six charges that are replenished each day. By spending three charges, its wielder may cast Fireball. By spending two charges, they may cast Scorching Ray. How cool. It's kind of a fun weapon. Too bad I don't have a lump. In due time. Okay, so... Vordekai. And then I guess we can go see... Yeah, I guess the next step is going to the... Uh, the first home of the Spriggans. Hmm. Give the staff to Octavia? Uh, no, it's fine. She, she's fine with the... Even though she barely uses it, All she's fine according with it. To plan. Give the staff to Tristian, he'll be able to nuke. Uh, Tristian can nuke anyway. Have you seen his first three skills? <laughs> He's got plenty of nuking uh, capability if he wants to. You notice a huge black bird sitting still on a high fence by the exit as if waiting for you. It's a raven, glistening black and one of the largest ravens you've ever seen. As you approach, it tilts its head and affixes you with its beady black eye. Look, fat tasty feather bag, hit it with stone. As you're about to leave, you hear a cracked voice. Hypocrite. Fat tasty talking feather bag um what did you say what's the point of your false pity for these fools you allowed to live with no shelter no family and no homeland always on the run all you did is prolong their suffering and take pride in your chivalry that's not true a guy still has a chance for a fresh start miserable hypocrites you speak to justify your actions there is no justification no 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 why are you here? Are you one of the thieves that lived in this miserable settlement? I am not from Varnhold. Wait. What do you know about the vanishing of Varnhold? Only that people of this dusty village were thieves. Thieves and bandits who didn't respect the law and didn't know their place. Inferior beings don't dare touch what that which belongs to their masters. Who are you? I stole nothing. Liar, this settlement was full of thieves. They paid for their crimes. Not only a single one remains. You. Who are you? Who are you? I'm not from Farnhold, but I will find out what happened here. 
You, what arrogance, what pride. You, Thrall, do not follow one crime with another. You will suffer the same fate. Who are you? The last thing I need is to introduce myself to a filthy crow. I should have thrown the rock at it. Goddamn Loch Ness Monster. I tell you. I will tell you what. What emote is rare Letho? It is a very cute dancing Letho. I think Julia made it, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Well, I've said about tree fitting. Mm -hmm. That's right, unlucky dragon sire. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is it beer time yet? Not yet. Another about half hour. Save it before we go. Why can't we see Rare Letho? The reason that... Okay, if you see the text Rare Letho instead of a small dancing cat, that is because you do not have either one of two things. You don't have better Twitch TV installed, which is your first option, or you don't have the FFZ add-on pack, which is the one I use with FFZ. So um, what, what Rare Letho is, is it is a it is what's called a BTTV emote. It is a free emote that if you have either of those things I just mentioned installed, you can then see. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work on mobile, obviously. Um, but yeah, it, that's how it works. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, uh, was it, was it here? Um. He said it was to the north. I, I think it has to be the Shallow Gulch, right? Okay. I'm guessing it's the Shallow Gulch. I hope. Uh, let's connect this real quick. An Ancient Curse Part 4? Oh, no. Damn. We failed a problem. But I, I didn't have anything to put in there. So, And we only lost five, which isn't bad. Lost some economy, which sucks. But A visitor waits in the castle? Oh, don't do that. Rude. Can I save scum it? No, I can't save scum it. Because I, I, didn't, I didn't have an advisor for it. That's just how it works sometimes. I didn't lose, uh, no, we're still serene. That's the important thing. The fact that we're still serene is what's important. Uh, I guess we could go back down to our city and warp over. Um. Miss Gattaca, that's rude. I need to catch my breath. Uh, with only her fatigued and Co, oh, Co's fatigued. Ah, we're gonna do it live. Let's see if we can do this without resting. I tire. Oh. While traveling through the hills of Naman, we noticed something worrisome. Crows circled the sky, much as they do upon spying a corpse to feast upon. More ominous yet, clouds of smoke trailed into the sky as well. After noticing that, we approached carefully, trying not to reveal ourselves. And soon we saw what attracted the crows. A dead horse lay in a ditch, one leg missing and its carcass already picked up by scavengers. Near the horse is what looked like the corpse of a former rider, a young man clad only in undergarments. Uh, goblins are busy rummaging through the clothes. Uh, we bared our weapons menacingly and demand an explanation. Realizing we weren't in a playful mood, the goblins grew defensive, almost pleading. It's not us! We no killed no one! He already deaded! The godsman's words, goblin words tumbled over each other in their haste to exonerate themselves. But they seem to be sincere. Horse threw him! Nasty thing! Broke his neck! Horse killed him! We not even tried eating him! After hearing their story, we let the goblins go with a warning. But before that, we made sure to reclaim everything they'd taken from the deceased, including a hefty coin pouch. Alas, the body laid before us belonged to none other than Tom and Hanvanki. 
a noble from Gralton, the one whose brother begged us to look for him. A letter in his jacket pocketed, his jacket, his jacket pocket, yellowed with age, confirmed his identity. It was signed Matthian Hanvanki, a relative. All we could do was take this tragic news to his brother. Okay, so does the note say anything? No. Oh! You see these beasts who once inhabit Iobaria will become our benefactors. While studying ancient maps, I've discovered the location of several of their tombs in the hills of Nomen. It's common knowledge the Cyclopses used to bury their dead with their treasures. Treasures they have no need of. Fortune calls, my brother. In a day soon to come, the Hanvanki's family coffers shall be full to bursting. So he was looking for buried Cyclops treasure. Fun. Uh, okay. So did that do anything for our main quest? That was not the Spriggan's place. Didn't it say it marked a place on our map? Damn it. I'm pretty sure it marked a place on our map, and I just can't remember what it is, which is unfortunate. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go back and talk to that person on the throne and also turn in this brother's quest so we don't have to do that later. Let's do that now. Let's do that now. Overgrown Cavern is the place? Okay, cool. We'll go there next. Thank you. Oh, shoot. What is this? Oh, Keston. Keston, Keston, Keston. You son of a dingle. All right. Take a look at Ancient Curse Part 4. It was updated with some kind of failure. No, I don't think it was updated with a failure. Yeah, I think it was updated with a timer. Yeah. I tire. Nice. Nice. Great. Jubilos demands an audience. Need to catch my breath. Okay, this one is before one Abacus. This one is also before one Abadius. Um. Oh Lord. Um. Okay. I'm gonna put Jihad on Omen. But we may we may get another fail. Damn, we're getting really unlucky with these. We are doing a huge amount of kingdom development right now though. So Oh! What is the rotten cave? I thought we could go through that to the south. May we have a moment of respite? All according to plan. Hmm. Everyone's kind of tired, so I'm not... If, if we get to a really tough fight, we're In due time. probably not going to be able to do too much. We can expend... Expel... All of our abilities, though, because we are going to rest soon. So, I mean, we could do that if we want to. That's assuming there's only one fight here, though. I don't even, I don't even know there's a fight here. Maybe there's not even a fight. Uh, let's go in here. Can you actually keep the kingdom alive the whole game without saves coming? Um, absolutely you can. The hard way. Oh my. Uh, you, you absolutely can, but it is definitely difficult. And when you're talking about higher difficulties, it just becomes like insane. Be generous to yeah. them, for I am not. Let yourself open. He got he had a little hop going on there, didn't he? He's like, oh, 
<laughs> As it should be. Wait, what? Uh, did I just miss a perception check or something? There's no loot in here at all. Not a single thing. In due time. Okay. I really do wonder if I missed a check there. That's why it's called the Rotten Cave. Oh, fair point. Fair point. Okay. <laughs> That does make sense. Mm, looking good over here. Looking good over here. All right, hopefully there's something good in here. Manicores are actually not, they're, they're not low level creatures. So I'm hoping there's gonna be something in here. Oh, it's going to be a portal. Oh. I tire. Okay. When in doubt, save. <laughs> what great advice. What great advice. Ow! Ow! Quit it! Or, ow, quit it! Dude, Jesus! Um. I feel like zapping us, man. Yo, can you stop, please? All according to plan. Oh my god, man. We're getting zapped. All right, nothing down here. Ow. Follow my lead. Ow. Yo, this is a big map. Jesus, man. Ow. Oh, a thunder vine. Well, let's do Something it, boys. Something bothering you? Focus on the goal. Ah. Ah. Hey, don't Whoa. Flag down. Didn't even break a sweat. Knock knock took the damage. Uh, how much? One strength, two decks. Uh, that's okay. We can take that. We can figure that. That that's all right. Yo, did that stop the lightning? Nope. And no loot on it either. Oh, what? A door? Do what now? Oh, God, what's this? Pick it up! Braces of armor plus five! Great pickup there. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah, let's go, let's go in here. I'm leaking red all over myself. Right here, my friend. That is not far. Wait, another... What? This has been a really strange area. Maybe I have to come back here later for something. Yeah, this is, this is a weird area. Big empty areas. Not a lot of loot. That entire room was empty. I we should gather all strength. Oh wait, it's not even done? Jesus, man. As it should be. Done and done. 180 for that, not bad. May we have a moment of respite? Interesting.
I did as you asked. <laughs> what a fine. I did as All you according asked. to plan. Not not tired. Oakenhide. Poisonous manticore like treant. What's new? Inimosi, Travis. Uh I am prepared. Let's do it. Repent. I shall end. Oh. Oh, this is going to be a thing. I'm getting killed here. Let us strike as one. Oh, he got dead dead. Wait. All my knowledge. All my genius. Ha! Primitives. Not not used to. Okay. Now, just to be clear, My skills are getting rusty. Using breath of life on this guy didn't do anything weird, right? Oh, I have to pay respects. Oh, that's the daily drop. We should be fine. Um. Yeah, I didn't. There was there was no weirdness there for using breath of life, right? Like I'm not losing levels or ability damage or anything like that. I'm listening. Unlike other spells, the heal damage breath of life can bring recently slain creatures back to life. If cast upon a creature that's died within two rounds, apply the healing from the spell to the creature. The healed creature's hit points total the negative amounts of constitution or comes to life and stabilizes a new hit point total. Oh, okay. Uh, so it should be fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, great. In awesome. due time. Black fur cloak. Ten competence bonus to all stealth checks and cold resistance thirty. Let's put that on him. Hmm. Oh, you're not even wearing a cloak, girl. Have a cloak of shadow. Okay, anything else? Follow my lead. I think we're good. I think we are good. I believe I found something. I see something. Okay. Is there a beginner's guide to this? Um there are some dun, great dun. beginner guides to this game. I have not made any myself, but uh there there's some good starting guides for it for sure. Also well. the uh the Owlcat Discord, the Pathfinder Discord is a great place to get tips. There's a lot of very helpful people in that Discord, many who have helped me. Um, so it's a good place to get started. That is not far. Hmm. All right, I guess we're done here. In due cool. time. Man, that was a fun place. Kind of off the beaten path a little bit, but that's okay. I learned from watching Ko. Oh, well, thanks, Noodle. Yeah, I'm always I'm always up for answering questions. If you have any questions, um, may we have a moment of I'm happy to help. Things. Where the hell are we? Wait, what is this area? All according to plan. Where now? Yes. Ready and willing. Let's, let's pop around here quick. Yeah. Mm. I'm about to rest anyway, so. As it should be. This seems like a different map. Hmm. Eh, I don't see anything here for us. In due time. Okay. Let's see where we are.
Did I get bamboozled? I hope not. Oh my lord. Uh, where am I? I tire. Shit. Everyone's super, super tired. I really have to rest. Uh, yeah, I got a little bamboozled. That's okay though. Need to catch my breath. We'll make it. We'll make it work. A lynx eye goblin. What are you? Damn, dude. Nice throwing. What are you even shooting at? Oh, him. Get him. I swear to God, Tristian, I am never that giving you any far. respite ever again. I am all out of respite for you, sir. Uh, how do I get out of this place? There's no world zone over here, maybe? Maybe up here. Have I cleared Vordekai's tomb yet? No. No, we have that 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 is not until much later. Yeah. Side note, who's Vordekai? I I I, I don't know who who's that? Who I have no idea who that is. <clears throat> hey Tassin Lord, how you doing today, dude? What about the loot? Oh, we'll get all the loot right now when we leave. Me and the other QA testers at DBX were watching as you scrolled through the credits and were dying laughing as you said Chuddy Ome uh, Omelogu's last name looked like Omega Lol. Thanks for the laugh. Hey, dude. My pleasure. And thank you so much for all you guys do. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I caught it out of the corner of my eyes, so I didn't really know what I was reading until I was like, oh, wait, that's a dude's last name. Uh, <laughs> now you have to call him Mr. Omega Lol. You know that, right? That's his new nickname. In case he doesn't, in, in case he didn't hear yet, that's his new nickname. <laughs> should gather all strength. All right, so that should go to here. Oh shit! Again? Oh, please don't be a fail. Oh, of course. Thankfully, we just left a map, so I'm I'm hoping that we have an auto save. Yeah. Okay. Good. Gotta get that scummery. Mm mm mm. That sweet, delicious scummery. Mmm, 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 so good. So good. Okay. Why doesn't Jubilost appear fatigued? Uh, he should be. Unless, oh, you know what? I think he has some, uh, item on him that prevents fatigue. Oh, it also could have something to do with the fact that he was rezzed. So when he got rezzed, his endurance timer reset for getting fatigued. I'm guessing that's what it is. Also, maybe the bracelet? Oh no, it's only at level 20. Oh, look at that. He resists fatigue for eight hours past the usual limit. And at level 20, the owner becomes immune to fatigue. Okay, so, yeah. Ah, there we go, success. Okay, so please let me put this in one of here. Oh, this is the last one. We need to get someone in here. Uh, Octavia is going to be taken for a while. Tristian, what? How long for? Oh, 15. Oh, hurts, man. I'm getting back to back fails. It hurts. It hurts. Them back to back fails, dough. Uh, wait, can we get Keston on something, maybe? Is there like at least an economy project we could get him on or something? Yeah, here we go. Expert mountaineering. Done. That's a no-brainer. Double the speed in mountain regions? Yeah, we'll take that. Cancel Omen with the Storyteller? No, that that would just fail Omen. Yeah, we, the, the, we don't want to fail. Alright, we're going to go down to our city. Need 
to catch my breath. We're gonna go down to our city. We're gonna rest. Actually, yeah, we're gonna rest at our at, at our city. Then we're gonna warp. We're gonna teleport over to our other area. Oh, great! Great! Okay, Octavia's done. Uh, awesome. She could do this, couldn't she? Yes! Yes! All right, great. Great. Um, boop. Do it. Do it, do it. Mm -hmm. Save it. And another curse down, too, which is great. Almost there. Yeah, the thing we're working on now will double the speed through these regions. Which will be very nice. Because as you can see, it is slow going right now. These mountain areas suck. Oof. Teleport. See, what's so fun about this is we're saving an entire day. Two days. Actually, three days if you count going there and back. We're saving three days of time because of this awesome teleport feature. The, and again, in our first game, we didn't even have it. Teleporting wasn't even in the game when I played this the first time. So, oh, it's nice. So nice. So nice. All right, here we go. Let's uh, save it. May we have a moment of respite? They wanted to teach me time management? Well, they failed miserably. What's up, dude? Amazing! You managed to save your barony from an invasion of monsters from the first world, but you were not able to protect it from the attention of the first world's more, most more powerful desonins. Believe it or not, but the coalition has been chosen as the next location for the in the inconsequent debates. Oh, I've heard about them. Strange entertainments held on Galarian by Fey Lords in the First World. Strange tests with various unique rewards. Your knowledge is, well, pleasantly surprising. It's true. The inconsequent debates are anything but debates. They say that the Eldest once made a bet. No one knows what it was, but sometimes one or another of them sends a delegation of Fey to Galarian. Here, they, uh, they hold insane competitions for those who volunteer to enter and present the winner with whimsical awards. The contest and the reward are different every time, although every time is a stretch. Only three such occasions are known over thousands of years. Anyway, it's happened again, and this time the reward is a chance to ask any question whatsoever of the host, the competition's mastermind. This creature, whoever it is, speaks on behalf of the eldest. Do you see why we can't miss such a chance? I don't. Tell me. Just think, we have an opportunity to ask a question of the host, the messenger of the self-appointed deities of the First World, and demand an answer. The gnomes originally ventured from the First World, lost their immortality because of it, and received our curse in exchange, the bleaching. No one has discovered the reason for it, and none can stave off its consequences. But if we manage to win the competition... Do you know anything about the debates, or are we completely in the dark? You never know. Okay. Who do you think we should take as our third? I think we should take Lindsay. Okay. Uh, can participate and be dangerous? Considering that the fair are involved, absolutely. We can't pass up such an opportunity. I agree to participate. Great. I'll mark the spot on the map where the competition will take place. The sooner we arrive there, the better. The Fey Lords won't wait forever. I'm not doing that until we're done with the main quest. And I hope that's okay. That should be okay, right? That should be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hooray, we did it! Another attack has been repelled, and the barony is stronger than ever. Your grateful subjects even brought you a gift to honor this outstanding success. A bunch of money! Unfortunately, now is no time to rest. While everyone is preparing for the last attack, I was looking for a way to overcome the curse. I read some ancient books, talked to the locals, and then I had a word with our storyteller, and we decided that, well, he'll tell it better. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Um... I can't, I should do his quest now? Hmm. Hmm. The quest is timed. Okay, maybe maybe we will do it now. Maybe we will do it now. We can just, we can just knock it out real quick. 
I'm a keeper of stories, Your Grace, and I have a master of respectable collection of them over my long life. There are, of course, stories and curses among them. Ancient and dark, having taken thousands of lives, destroyed kingdoms, and brought down... Well, our curse isn't exactly a real curse. We think there is someone specific behind these attacks. Oh, I'm sorry. Realizing she interrupted the storyteller. <laughs> Tristan turns pale. It's not a curse? Then what is it? If this isn't a curse, then what could it be? We don't know yet, but that part doesn't matter. Lindsay waves her hand carelessly. What's important is that we're finally making some real progress. I would imagine that the person behind these attacks is someone harboring great evil against you and your barony. I would not be surprised if it's the same adversary who was behind the bloom. I agree. After the last attack, I got the feeling that the owlbears and manicores came here as revenge for what we did to the ever-blooming ever -blooming flower. Whoever or whatever caused these attacks, I'm sure they will continue. We must be ready to repel the next one. That's exactly what we'll do. Sooner or later, the villain will show himself. Or herself. Once he slips up, we can finally push him for all the trouble he or she has caused. I didn't expect some such vitriol from you, Lindsay. In any case, I would advise hearing this villain out before punishing him. We still have no idea why this unknown enemy is targeting us in particular. I'm sure we'll know our foe's face soon enough. We've repelled his attacks three times now. He must be reaching the limits of his patience. He won't get away with this forever. Boop. Mm -hmm. do -do 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 -do. Okay, great. Uh, all sorts of good stuff there. Boom, boom, beautiful. Uh, are any advisors not doing things? No, no, no. No. Eight days. Okay. Okay. I need All to catch my breath. All right. First, we're gonna save. Then we're gonna rest. Oh wait. Someone asked how close we to leveling. Uh, about about a quarter of the way. We we just kind of leveled at the end of the stream yesterday. So. All right, there's that. Hey, Knock Knock had one strength and two dexterity restored. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. 